Now this thing, you can't... Oh. 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 And 120 level direwolf, marvellous. Hello GSV peeps and kitties, Dangly Bob here with another episode of Dark's Five of Old. And you bring us back where we have not one, but two Alpha Raptors here creating merry mayhem just down the road from where the last episode we just built our uh, little tree house. Or tree platform anyway, it's not quite a house yet. So uh, I'm going to get a little bit of XP. The, you know, the, the Alpha's been a bit short supply. So, Laying here with the, with the terror birds. Let's see if I can take these raptors a little bit. Don't dicks all bored up, so he's not going to take any damage. That's fine. That one's definitely looking a bit bloody. Can't see that one. Oh, I killed a duck tick. Okay. Didn't think I could kill them when they were balled up, but. That's a 32. So, let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, apprentice metal pick. Which we're going to put down. Chuck some of my goodies back down. That's not a goodie. Apprentice metal pick. Apprentice metal pick. Journey with my hands. Whoops. It's the. Oh, God. Alright. Get rid of the car. Right, let's get a little bit of height. Stay out of trouble right now. Back into here. Uh, got myself two Rex Bone helmets, to be honest, don't need those. And Mastercraft metal pick. Now that is well worth having. We'll put that in there straight away. Hope we don't die before we lose it too much. Is that all we had? Just metal picks? It was. And a shed load of prime meat. So I'm going to get home as soon as I can. Perhaps cook up some of this prime meat. I don't know how we're off for prime meat. Probably got loads, but it's a decent amount and we are not that far home. So I'll meet you back at base. Oh, yeah. Got some levels as well, so... Didn't actually get too many levels, but I'm going to pump, uh, going to pump the speed, take it up to 150, just the one level then. So I'm back at base, and I am going to just pick up some. Uh, oh, I had a load of cooked meat in here, and that's all spoiled. I'm going to transfer all items into there, and we'll turn it on. As you can see, I have so much. Prime meat. Some of that is going to spoil as well. I'll put this spoiled meat over in the fridge if I have any space. Put. I just think there's one piece of prime meat on there as well, but do you don't need? Just transfer all items again. Come over here. The leather pants. Stick into there. I'm going to stick these two picks in here as well, since I have my Mastercraft one. That's uh, some of this prime meat spoiled. Transfer all items again. Got some of this cooked prime meat. I think we'll just stick that all in the fridge for the minute. Right, 
quite a nice one up. Hopefully before it spoils. Come on. Can't remember how long these uh, industrial cookers take to cook up. 29, there we go. Right. Uh, we'll leave burning for the minute. I'm going to probably jerky this up, I think. No, we'll just chuck it in the fridge. I haven't got a, a box here myself, so we're just going to bong that in the fridge there along with that and that. And I could probably, I've got so much prime meat, uh, spoiled meat, I could probably do it making some more narcos. Just check my narco stack. Mm, it's not bad, but it's not, not brilliant. So yeah, I'm going to go and collect some berries uh, while I'm out. Do some thatch as well. Yogi's probably the best tool for the job here. And I'll catch you all back in a bit. And I'm back. And uh, I've got a bit of a problem with the uh, our base at the moment. We seem to have lost our uh, other quetzals. I just had Megas on saying, do you know where the other quetzals are? And I said no. So anyway, while I was hunting around, just in case they got stuck on the ceiling or something, I'm fairly certain I haven't lost them. Um, I believe the time I used it was bringing back uh, metal from the volcano, so I've just flown the route just in case we had a server roll back or something and they were stuck on the ceiling or on route, but can't see them. Oh, they drop over there. But while I was flying around, I saw this thing down here, so I thought I'd show you this. Now he's stuck between two trees here, but uh, do I get him unstuck without getting attacked myself for a minute? But this is the Titanosaurus and it's the biggest dinosaur in game as you can see it's absolutely enormous now this thing you can't oh. And 20 level die wolf. Marvellous. Uh, okay, well I sort of know where I was so I'm going to have to come back here. Um, hopefully yeah, I want to go Let me spawn up my bed. Um, yeah, I was telling you about the time you saw. So while I'm flying back Oh crikey, this could be a little difficult because I won't have any furry armour. Come on. Load in. So that titan sword is the biggest thing in the game, and you cannot tame it with. I want some hide pants. Go for a hide shirt. Some hide boots. I don't think I've got any gloves, so we'll just have kites and gloves. I think a bit short on helmets as well, so. Um, Right, uh, biggest thing in the game. It's virtually impossible to tame, certainly by yourself. Uh, narcos don't do anything good to it that you've got to. Should be easy to find my body, it's stuck next to that titan. Um, yeah, narcos don't do anything due to it. What you have to do is, is thump its head with cannons uh, and rockets and things. I think cannons are the most effective. Let's get out of the cold zone, warm myself up. If I can. Can we get warm? Doesn't look like I am. Oh, there we go. So, uh, yes, I won't be trying to tame that one. That one's only a level four. But the other strange thing about them is that once you've tamed it, it is it doesn't eat. Uh, so they will survive. See it over there. They will survive until they die. And that apparently the time is set on it for about 18 to 20 hours. So on a PvP server, you've got to tame it, kit it out, attack whatever it is you're trying to kit it out with. Oh, he's moving now. Um, that's a quetzal. No. Uh, right, let's get my quetzal to me. And I need to go and try and find my body now. This will be a bit of a pain. 
Um, guess I'm looking for a bag on the floor. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to hunt around, look for a bag on the floor. Hopefully for a freeze to death. And I'll bring you back. I just found my kit and I've just picked it up over here, so... Let's go back and have another look at this Titan Manura. Titan Manura? It's definitely not a Titan Manura. Titanosaurus. As you can see, huge great burning plates on its back. It's uh, not aggressive unless I attack it. So it's virtually impossible to kill anyway. It does get attacked. It's going to stomp on everything and anything in its path. Down here, get on. Come on, out the way. So, biggest dinosaur in the game, bigger than a gigantosaurus. Or a giga, we don't have those on here. So, um, can't compare one to the other. I could try and tempt a, a Rex across it, but I don't know if anything's going to attack it, because it is that big. So, there we go. And I'm back. And, uh... <laughs> I was just on the ground here, basically just scoping out. Actually, what I was going to do is I was going to build a bit of a pen. So I raided a beaver dam for some wood. Beaver had already been killed by a carno, which then I'd killed. But, uh, yeah, when I was raiding the beaver dam, I got attacked by this little level 8 terror bird. Luckily, she, she was on her own. So, uh, yes, decided to take her down. Luckily, my armour is... Uh, you know, didn't, well, she's only level 8, so I don't know how much damage she does do, but she does still pack a fair pack, so... But terror bird eggs, I can't remember what I need terror bird eggs for now. I've got a feeling, I've been after terror birds for a while, to do the new Diplodocus, tame the new Diplodocus, so we can have a look at that. But i uh, going to need a few more than just the level 8 here, just doing a prime meat tame on her. Doesn't take too long. And I reckon she's got perhaps one more bite, maybe two. Be a nice little level 12 or something. No, not even level 12, be 11. So we'll get her home, put her in the pen with the others. And there we have it, yeah. Let's call this one. Tracy. with these. Yes, easily. There we go, flying terror bird. So yeah, get her back out, stick her in the pen with the other dinos. And go back to my bear hunt, which isn't going very well. Not finding any sort of high level bears at all. The biggest one I've found so far was a male 50, definitely after a female, so I'll get the mate boost. And the fox come in, which is not going to help at all. Okay, so, something we didn't play with last time round, and that was the tree sap tap. So we're going to make a couple of these. Now, they're quite expensive. Uh, 100 metal ingots and 40 cementing paste. So, I'm going to pull those out of there. Hopefully they're not, uh, they're not too heavy, so... Go back. Now you've got to have a large tree to put these in. Look in the inventory here. It says attach this to a large tree to sap to tap its sap over time. Now I don't know how this works. But I'm guessing a large tree is the uh, the redwoods.
at all. Come over here. We go on our platform, actually. It's nice and safe over there. Quick squint around for a decent bear while we're here. That's not the reason why we came across, but that doesn't mean to say that which it's more likely to be. There we go. More likely to be a bear here. Well, there is there's one over there, be attacked by <laughs> a terror bird. What size are you? Got to be be a hundred female. How much wrong can you get? Level four, male. Right. Any others anywhere? Can't see any. It's just starting to get dark, which uh, isn't going to help spare spotting. No. Right, let's go back to my tree sap. Uh, right, have a look at my inventory. I'm going to drag this down to here. Oh, okay, it's quite big. Well, 100 metal, I'd hope it's quite big. And it just seems to yeah, snap in at the same levels you're going to get the... It snap over there? No. Okay, I'll get, push it in here. Whack, ka-clunk, as they say. So you can access its inventory, and it only has the one slot, so I'm f assuming it fills up with something. So we'll put two in then, shall we? Not quite knowing what I'm going to do with a spare one if I didn't have it here. We'll put it here. Right. So. Uh, that wasn't as exciting as I thought it might have been. I don't know how long they'll take to collect tree sap. Having never seen tree sap or even seen a recipe that needs it, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it when I have found it, but we'll um, cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm just going to come round here in the setting sun so we can find any decent sized bears. I'm not back here, back at the uh, hesitate to call it the tree house but uh, the uh, yeah the little base or my, my tree platform here and I can't remember how long I've been away it's been a few game days but we're just collecting this slap slap sap a slap of sap uh, so I can't remember how long it's taken to to do it but not actually a lot a couple of game days maybe but and as you can see uh, yeah Kingsley looks a little bit beaten up which uh, that will have to did film how that all happened, but that'll have to wait till the next episode, I think, because I think this, while we're looking out for bears, it's going to have to wait here. There are a couple of terror birds around, and I did on the way back. I've got some some bits to build something down there. I'm going to build a little little terror bird capturing pen, just something temporary, just to catch a couple of females, you know, something we can drag a load of terror birds into, pick out what we need, shoot the others, and, uh, yeah, get the, uh, get the terror bird egg situation sorted. But otherwise, yeah, that's going to be everything for today, guys. And I, thanks for watching. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. And if you could hit that like button for us if you like it, and obviously subscribe for some more come back to the next episode where I'll tell you how Kingsy got beaten up. So long guys, catch you in the next one.